Hello, Mapuhay! We are here at EDSA MRT and LRT. Please walk going to the steps. There are some vendors here at the stairways that sells accessories like hair clips to the headsets and headphones. Multiple electrical wires are under the bridge. Please keep on walking until we see the signage for the LRT. EDSA stands for Epifanio de los Santos Avenue. He wrote the revolutionary paper in 1898 which is called La Independencia. We are here now at the LRT area and we need to scan first our bag before we can buy our tickets. Just press the button and pay cash and wait for your ticket and change. The ticket I got is like blank paper and this is the time we're in the LRT code print more which is not erasable The train station is an open area so please be careful and watch your steps properly. Today is April 2023 and you have your choice to wear or not to wear face mask. Hooray! We are here now at the central terminal. Please go down to the steps then turn left at the end. I am walking solo, going to Intramuros today. However, in front of me are numerous students. It's not really solo at all. Please turn left and we will walk through Universidad de Manila. Please keep on walking until you can see the Park of Andres Bonifacio, one of the Philippine national heroes. It's quite cold here with the plants and trees. I really like our Philippine flags dancing with the winds. And here is our hero, Andres Bonifacio, holding the KKK flag. It stands for Kataas Taasang Kagalang Galangang Katipunan. That's Manila City Hall in a cloudy day. The jeepneys are still available and being used by Filipino people. Let's have a closer look with the statues. We have men and women with their Bahay Kubo. They're called Nipahat. It is made up of brass, metal, or iron. And here are more designs about Philippines history. Filipinos are really creative and talented. This place is very clean. Let us keep on walking towards the subway of the Entremaras. Please turn right and enjoy the designs, sculptures, paintings, and murals. After going up using the stairs, please turn right, going to the pathway of the Entremaras. There are some bicycle men 
who can do the tour guide for you. You will have to pay 150 pesos or up. On my part, I like walking and I started doing it at the Central Terminal LRT. We can see the views, the buildings, the establishments more properly while walking. Some are still original classic Spaniards building and some are being renovated. We are now here at the Philippine National Red Cross. It is the fourth block from the entrance of the Intramuros where we started. At the very end of the fourth block is the Fort Santiago. This is really a work of art of wood carvers. I'm going to look for the open doors where we can go inside the church. This building is now a restaurant next to the San Sebastian Church. It looks really huge outside. This is magnificent interior Gothic architecture. This is Santic Church Bell. Let us keep on walking towards the Manila Cathedral. We are now here at the back side of the Manila Cathedral Church. The weather is getting better with the blue sky and lots of people here at this famous and historical church. You may have quick refreshment before entering the church. They also made the statue for the King of Spain, Charles IV. The church tour has more complicated sculptures. The beautiful palm trees are available during Holy Week. Romanesque architecture was the design for Manila Cathedral. Palacio de Gobernador was the home for the Spanish Governor General, like Legazpi. 
few more minutes of walking and you are very near the Fort Santiago. This place is military fort during Spanish colonization. Let's get inside and we have to pay 75 pesos for adult. Some shops are selling souvenirs and others offer food and refreshments. It is nice to stay under the trees during this hot summer day. We have preserved the old buildings, church, and the cannons. More shops of food and souvenirs are available. Let's go inside to the main part of the Fort Santiago. Fort Santiago is part of the walled city of Intramuros. Before, this is military place headquarters. Now you can rent the place for your special event like wedding The Banani Rizal is a museum where photography is not allowed, but you can do no flash photography. At my right side is the golf course. Thank you for the hearers who like these people at the White Cross. You can also rent the building at the Balguarte de Santa Mata. 
while having a rest under the mango tree, some fruits are falling. We prepared to get scared with the dungeons of Fort Santiago. At the back is the Pussy River which is now improving. We hope that the people will continue to improve the sanitation next to the river. And here is the statue of Dr. Sarisal before he went to the martyrdom at Luneta Park. Thank you, God, for another wonderful adventure. <laughs>